हेलो व्यूवर्स दिस इज इलिया सॉफ सॉफ्टवेयर कंपनी एंड आई एम मोहम्मद इलिया दिस वीडियो फॉर दो स्टूडेंट्स हु परचेज कोर्स एंड देन हाउ टू इंस्टॉल एंड हाउ टू यूज देयर सोर्स कोड एंड योर सिस्टम्स मींस फुल कॉन्फिगरेशंस विद फुल कॉन्फिगरेशन सो लेट गेट स्टार्ट वंस यू परचेज द कोड सो देन यू then right click on this folder you received uh, this uh, uh, file dot zip um, accounting system accounting my system source code and database so now then right click here and extract to or extract here so you get this files these two files the one is a database and with script if database is not attached then right click and open with uh, edit with yeah any editor you can use to open this uh, uh, file so now select all the code copy and open your sql server and then oh, new query in case of uh, database attachment is not working means it's not attached so then you, you use this options so then uh, select this and open sql server control v means paste all the code and then first you need to do first you need to uh, remove these line these lines and also remove this and then execute first these lines then remove these first execute that line and then remove and then select all and then execute press the execute button okay so first you need to create the database so this code is used for to create the database now click and once its code execute successfully after that select all the code and then execute so the database will be created successfully so now close but in case if database is uh, if you want to attach the database then so, uh, copy the path where you extract the, these files and open your SQL server but right click on SQL server right click here and run as an administrator or right here SQL server management studio and right click here and run as administrator so once you run this as administrator the, the Microsoft SQL server will open so now connect and then right click here the database press attach button and now add and paste the path where you extract the database and source code and press the enter button so now you see here the database and now press ok button so if you uh, press the ok button you receive these data and log file data is a metadata and log file is the database log activities log and now press the ok button so the database it attached successfully so now the database is attached successfully you see here okay and now click here then right click here this database and go to the properties and go to the files and select here your your users or select all the user and press the ok button we have already selected so okay I'm pressing the OK button. Then once the users all is uh, okay, so then click on this button. So you here see the ERD diagram of this projects, which is here. Okay. And then these are the tables. And these are the views. And here you see the procedures. Okay. So these are the whole database. This is the whole databases of is uh, of this projects but the but for using the source code you 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 can see here the users right click here and see the user noman ali noman ali ali and ali okay so these are the users so the username is admin one two three four five and ali one two three five these are the user of this project means this um, is uh, projects so now open the application and this okay so now copy this path and open your visual studio this is the user interface so now here write the visual studio and open your visual studio here we are using the visual studio 2019 community version so now i am clicking on the visual studio 2019 right click here and run as administrator 
you must need to run the hydrogen shatter because this is the uh, first time for opening the project so you need to give full the permission to the projects to uh, attach successfully so now continue without code or go to here open and project and solution and then go to here and paste the path and now select this SLN file or maybe you can select this CS project but the best way to select this for the, this one dot sln and click the open button so once you click the open button the application will load it successfully okay here this is the safe is crystal report version for visual studio and here he uh, says uh, he asked to me convert the solution to this one so okay i'm open so once we click this option you see here this is the crystal report backup file will be created here okay so don't worry this is uh, um, not the issue okay so now open here you can get full the projects everything is configured here but you need one thing here uh, if your uh, server is dot slash schemal express here slash schemal express then you don't need to change the uh, server name means data and database access okay in the here but if you have installed the is uh, is not with the, this okay means if your server is this so then you uh, don't need to change your server but in case of if your server is data or whatever means uh, browse your uh, and, and select the server if your server if and your server include this okay okay so then you don't need to change your server and this code it's already configured but in case if not include um, the slash schemal express means you have installed uh, uh, you have uh, evaluations version of schemal server then you copy the uh, the uh, name of your server or here write the dot okay and now connect your server and then go to the source code and right here your server name or dot it's working okay so once this change is successfully after that you need to change one by one this crystal report also so now i am clicking on crystal reports when the crystal report is open successfully then i'm going to right click here and set the database data source location then go to your browser here you can see here your one server is dot so then you need to select this okay and then select the customer uh, then go to your connections means your database which is uh, this one okay so i'm going here and select the uh, database name here we don't need because uh, we have already it's configure but uh, then you need to this select this and this and then come here go to and select the customer tables and select also this and select this and then update so it is updated okay so this this is the way you can change the uh, source of your uh, your crystal report okay and then close so then it's work successfully okay here you see after that once all these changes is completed successfully then you run the application so this video is for guidance that how you can run the source code on your systems here we are using the crystal report so you need to install crystal report for using these applications so now once these changes successfully after that run click on the uh, uh, start button let's take some time so once the application is run success successfully after that you need to click on the login button so they it's loaded so now admin and this is the password is by default otherwise you can change here okay so and then click the login button so the application is successfully login okay this is the low stock report and uh, 
okay so here you can use this application for chase sales stock settings and reports and transaction so we we'll discuss all of these options in a coming video so this is this video for those students who purchase source code for uh, source code uh, and then uh, how to use this source code